Hi, my name is Harold and welcome to The Sanctum. So this video is actually a repost of the video that I posted yesterday on the same topic, on the topic of Aries. And the reason I'm reposting this video is because that particular video had a slight error. Right? So I started that video off by announcing to you all that I wasn't able to post a video for just over a week because I was in the process of moving home. And I've uh, just moved into my new place. So, and of course, this week has just been so busy with uh, so many things to do and moving. And, you know, it's a, it's a very, very busy time as, as it always is. And that's, you know, that's the reason why the background is different because I'm now in a new place. Uh, and I still have a million and one things to do. So in the process of, of that and creating the video yesterday, I had made a slight error. So I'm posting this video again. So essentially this video is going to be on the topic of Aries to start off the series on astrology and astrological correspondences and astrological symbolism. So and also here in the UK, the spring equinox is now approaching. So I think that is for that reason, it's a excellent time to start by talking about the zodiac sign of Aries. So, first of all, it's important for you to know that when I am talking about Aries, I'm not necessarily talking about you if your sun is in Aries. So if you were born around this period of time, end of March, start, start of April, oftentimes people say, oh, I'm an Aries. I'm not necessarily talking about you. Because although your sun is in Aries, you've got other planets as well. So you've got a moon, you've got you've got Venus, you've got Mercury, you've got Jupiter, you've got all of these other planets that are also influencing you. So although your sun sign is a strong influence, you've got other influences. So I'm not necessarily talking about you when I'm talking about the planet, the, the zodiac sign of Aries. I'm talking about the archetypal energy of Aries itself. So first it's important to understand that the zodiac sign of Aries is the ram. Like each of the 12 zodiac signs have a particular symbol or, or avatar associated with it. Right? And Aries is associated with the ram. Right? And the behavior of the energy is often symbolic of the particular avatar. So in this case, the ram. So if you look at the ram as an animal, if you step on the ram's property, it will charge at you head first with its huge curly horns, right? With its head straight on forward. So that is the archetypal nature of the Aries energy. So it's associated with the beginning, initiating, starting, moving forward, action, motivation, will. It's that strength, vigor kind of energy. And Aries in Greek mythology is the god of war. So it's associated with war, with strength and all of that kind of energy. Right? And for that reason... The energy of Aries can be a little bit short-tempered, maybe even a little bit aggressive, assertive, um, volatile in that nature. So, and even, so each zodiac sign is associated and ruled by a planet or rules a planet. So in this case, the zodiac sign of Aries is ruled by Mars, the planet Mars. And of course, Mars is the god of war in the Rome, Roman pantheon, in the ancient Roman pantheon. So you can see that there is an association with those planets uh, and that energy of warlike energy. But it's, it's, it's associated with that energy of action, of initiation. So for example, if you were to plant a seed, the seed, when it shifts from a dormant nature, from a dormant state into an active state where it starts to grow, that is the energy of 
Aries. That is the Aries principle. Hence why it's associated with the spring equinox, with the time of spring. So the um, cardinal sign, so each of the 12 zodiac signs is also associated with an element. Right? And Aries is associated with fire, but there are three kinds of um, three attributes associated with each of those four elements, right? So when it comes to the zodiac signs, so that's cardi cardinal, mutable, and fixed. And Aries is a cardinal sign, so it's associated with cardinal fire. And the four cardinal signs in the zodiac are related to the four seasons in, in the year. And spring is associated with Aries because that is when all the seeds that have been planted begin to grow. So that is, it's that growing principle, that initiating, starting, activating principle that Aries represents. And the, in terms of other correspondences, the tarot card, the major arcana tarot card associated with Aries is the Emperor. And each of the zodiac signs rules a particular part, organ or section of the body. And Aries rules the head. And even if you look at it symbolically, the ram charges with its head first into something. Right. So that is why Aries is associated with the head. Another reason is because Aries is also associated with the self. And if you were to find a, a dead body, if there was no head, it'll be a lot harder to identify the body. It's very easy to identify the body with the head because you can say, okay, it's this person. So, Aries is associated with the head, also because it's associated with the self. Unlike its opposite, which is Libra, which is associated with the other. With the other. So, you can see that the Aries energy is present within the human being. In our own psychological behavior the microcosm and it's also there in the macrocosm and it's also there in nature which is that the you know the seeds activate and start to grow that is Aries in nature itself right? and within ourselves it's our, our action our motivation our willpower our drive to do something right? but it's also our aggression it's also our short-temperedness um, all of these particular aspects are associated with Aries. Right? So that's what I mean by it's the archetypal energy of Aries rather than specifically if you're an Aries or your son is in Aries I'm talking about you, not necessarily. Okay. So this is simply an introduction just to those particular correspondences associated with Aries. And like this I plan for this entire series to go through the 12 zodiac signs and then move on to the planets and then move on to the houses. So then there is this basic understanding of astrology and then together, putting these together, we can start to learn how to read a chart um, and learn more about the um, planets and where they are positioned at this moment and how they might be influencing our lives right? and also how to read our own birth chart and things like that. So we'll be diving deeper into this in this new series. So I hope that all makes sense. Thank you. Take care. Please give this video a like and a subscribe if you haven't already and I hope to see you soon. Take care.